today, we're chatting on the topic of self-esteem. definition of self-esteem according to Google is the confidence in one's own ability, worth, or self-respect. Worth, ability, self-respect, yeah, if you really think about it, it actually means something. And so it's very prevalent and can be seen by our circles of influence. You know, are we hanging out with people where we feel like we're in a comparison trap, where it's keeping up, quote, with the Joneses, looking for the next thing, right? Trying to one-up each other. Or, you know, are you significantly better than your circle's influence because you're trying to make yourself feel better? Or, you know, are you hanging out with people who are encouraging each other to get better, right? A lot of times when we do things, you know, we see people do things, um, it's really short-term. You know, we're looking for that immediate short-term thing, right? What is the next toy? the next experience, or even really the next relationship, right? But I encourage you to look long-term. So why am I holding a tennis racket? Because this whole self-esteem topic reminds me of a story that I had with someone um, in front of a tennis court almost a decade ago. And the question really was is, you know, they basically asked is, you know, how do you not get influenced uh, by people in your social circles? to basically always want to be one-upping someone or to be the next thing. And my response back then was, because I'm okay with myself, right? The question for you is, are you okay with you? And another example I thought about was um, the use of, actually the use of social media these days, right? One thing I hear is that people look at other people's quote, say Facebook pages, and they're always like, man, you know, you know, their family's not like that, or I wish I could do that, et cetera, et cetera, from there. Personally, you know, since I'm pretty busy at work mostly every day, that it's great to see people doing well or getting new ideas of, you know, what could be done, right? Not being jealous. Again, if you find yourself being jealous or even thinking in a direction, you have to ask yourself, are you okay with you? Action item for today is the seven whys. You've probably heard of this exercise before where you ask yourself a question and you ask yourself why at least seven times. I actually did this exercise probably about a year and a half ago on a topic. It was pretty interesting when I started digging deeper. So let me know your thoughts or even better, let me know what was something past level five or even seven that really got your attention how that really impacted or changed you. If you thought this topic was beneficial, click like and subscribe, and I'll see you here next time.